Uh, so n now we're going to bring in, I'm going to put my glasses on because he has a long title. I'll go ahead and unmute there, Brandon. Uh, Brandon Tucker, the Associate Vice President of Workforce and Community Development at Washtenaw Community College, right here where I live in the Ann Arbor area. And so, uh, Brandon, why don't you talk a little bit, this may be, we always assume that people don't know some of the folks we introduce, so they may not know you personally, or may not even be familiar with Washington uh, Community College, so why don't you talk a little bit about what you guys do? Well, definitely, thank you, Mike and team, for allowing us to be on the show today. Uh, Washington Community College is really Washington County's community college. Uh, we've been around since 1965, and believe it or not, we have a little over 20,000 students that come across our campus throughout a, a calendar year. Uh, unlike or, or just like our, our neighboring schools, um, we're still in a global pandemic, uh, but yet we're still open. So we still have students taking classes. Uh, we actually have uh, our summer session, which just started, and we have over 137 academic programs, um, certificate and associate degree. But wow. we also have our workforce development unit, which we'll talk about today with a very new cool boot camp that we're starting that uh, does things on the non-credit and the credit side of the house and provides rapid response, education and training for employers. So what we see from uh, our current employers in the region is that they need talent they're having trouble finding good talent and filling good jobs. And that's where the college comes in. Whether a student comes in through our academic program, graduates, and then they're job ready, or with their workforce development, we may have individuals that are underemployed, unemployed, or maybe be working and want to change their careers. That's where we come in and we can make things happen to train the skill and the scale of talent within our region. Matthew. All right. So uh, tell us a little bit about this uh, latest uh, program that you have going, the boot camp. Um, basically, what are these folks going to be learning and uh, in what sort of modality, what, over what period of time? Absolutely. So they, uh, we, we did these talent collaboration series over the last six months. Uh, we started off in healthcare. We then did IT. Uh, manufacturing is next up. And what we heard from employers was that we can't find employees mm. we need help so we collaborated with a number of local long-term health care employers um, as well as our local michigan works office and the state to really say how can we address this problem as specifically vibrant life senior living home watch caregivers and interim healthcare said, if you want to help us, we can provide a solution. So we got together, we found out what they needed, why they weren't finding employees and what were the skills uh, that they were lacking. And, and what they told us that we need individuals that can come in, be on the job and for what, care about people, but then also be able to do first aid um, if, if, if a situation happens, but then also that they need to understand what it's like to care, uh, in a non healthcare setting. So these are individuals that may be coming to someone's home or a care facility that's not a hospital. And we asked them, okay, well, these are the skills. Uh, how long can you wait? <laughs> uh, they said, no, we can't wait. We want it tomorrow. We said, well, give us a little bit of time. So we put together a program that's going to be fully virtual, uh, 40 hours uh, a week um, training uh, that will go over two weeks. And what individuals will learn is, of course, how to care for individuals, how to administer CPR, uh, you know, what it's like uh, to deal with those that are uh, aging gracefully. And then at the completion of that training, uh, they're going to immediately be job ready. And those three employers, along with others, will be right there at their door waiting to hire them. The starting wage is 12 bucks an hour, which uh, is a okay wage, but it's not a great wage. But what it does is it gets them 
in a field that is growing. <laughs> and what these companies have told us is that we also can't find the individuals who will supervise these staff, mm. who will manage these facilities. So the second part to this new program is that we're going to have a track for those that get in, do well, that they can advance rather quickly, sometimes within a year or two, into a higher paying position. So it's an entry level role. Um, and it's here, right here in our, our local community with employers that are vested. Um, and they're putting some skin in the game. So individuals that go through this program, it will be at no cost to them. Wow. They do not have to pay. Uh, it's been fully supported uh, by our local governmental partners at Michigan Works, our state office, uh, Leo, but then also the employers are going to put in somebody because they're that committed to make sure they get employees. So imagine this. I'm not working right now. It's the pandemic. I'm collecting unemployment that is soon to run out. I now have a pathway to be able to get a good paying job that's guaranteed 40 hours, probably plus overtime in a, a field and a career that's thriving. And I don't have to pay for the training. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't believe that you can get a better situation right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, so uh, they don't have any pre-requirements to come in. It's just you, do they have to have some sort of basic nursing background or something along those lines or not? No, they, they, there are some basic requirements. You got to be a U.S. citizen. You got to be at least 18. Uh, you have to have at least a high school diploma or GED and be able to pass a basic background check, right? And what we're trying to do is pre-screen before people get in and get disappointed. Yeah. Uh, so they got to, you know, have no, no, nothing in their background. And then also, as long as they have access to a computer with the internet, and of course have a valid, you know, social security card ID, they don't have to have any previous experience hmm. working uh, in healthcare. They just have to want to work with people and care about people. And if they have that interest, they can easily be trained in this field. All right. So um, how do, how do people apply for this? So there is uh, a few ways. There's um, some links that I believe we may have, have sent you um, that can have them go in and fill out the contact form and say, hey, I'm interested. And a member of our team, um, our partners at Michigan Works, they'll be reaching out directly to them, set up a time to have a conversation. Uh, and then we will probably be doing some small info sessions. One went on today. Uh, but we're going to continue to run these because it's our goal to get the program up and running in the next three to four weeks. Hmm. Um, so, you know, but we know that once we get the word out through this video uh, and through other areas that people are going to come. So we want to try to manage those expectations early. And it is a first come, first eligible. Uh, I don't say first come, first serve, because we'll serve you. But once we determine you're eligible, those will be the people who enrolled um, into the program. And All we're right. starting off with the, probably, I know a question that has been asked, how many people? That, yeah. was, that so, was my question, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, yeah, my uh, question too. So <laughs> we're looking to do these in cohorts of 20, right? There's 140 to 160 open positions right now today. Okay. So the goal is to get a cohort of 20 in, it's only two weeks, get them going, get them interviewed, get them placed, and then immediately start another cohort. Uh, and, and the goal is that we literally could be doing this for an entire year because there are the, the, the need and the demand is just there. Hmm. Now, is this uh, this type of structure, as it were, is this something that you've done before in other courses or is this brand new? So we've done boot camps. Uh, we just did a, a, a cybersecurity boot camp which was addressing some of the cybersecurity talent needs here in Ann Arbor and the region. Um, it was a little longer, so it was 10 weeks. Uh, but we have been doing these types of boot camps for a while now, and it's dependent upon the industry and the content will determine how long that the boot camp goes. But it's something we've been doing for a while, and it's, it's a part of the community in the college, right? That we're here supported by local taxpayers that are residents and that are companies and we feel it's our mission to be able to support their needs like this so who will be the instructors uh for this for this boot camp we have some rock star faculty members here at the college <laughs> and um so 
Uh, we've plucked a few of them in the midst of their summer siesta um, and said, hey, teach this class for us. So it's going to be taught uh, by our Washington Community College faculty. Uh, and then there'll be some on the job training. It happens after placement. So we'll get them ready, get them knowledgeable. But then, you know, every company has a different way that they do things. So that when once they're placed, there'll still be some additional training, and that's going to be trained directly by the employers. Hmm. Uh, so I imagine, uh, well, you say aging gracefully, I guess that would be Matt and I. We're trying to age gracefully. Uh, but certainly uh, there's a lot of baby boomers that have retired or are retiring, and some of them maybe haven't taken care of their health as well as they should. And so heck of an opportunity, right? It absolutely is. And what we're trying to do is build a pipeline of people that want to do this work, but don't necessarily have to do this work. Because that's a much different situation when you are able to get into this because you love it versus being able to get into it because you have to, because yeah. you need a job. And so we're being very intentional with uh, the selection of the individuals. The employers are at the table with us as we select these individuals. So there's no hidden surprises. You know, personalities will work for the type of company that, you know, is available. And there's, you know, three that we've partnered with. So we want to make sure that people really, really have a passion to do this work and love people. That, you know, if you love people, you can do this. Uh, if you don't love people, yeah, that's a whole that's a job for you, right? You know, because uh, <laughs> taking care of the elderly, I mean, I, my sister and I, before my parents passed, took care of our elderly parents. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. It is. And, and you know, it's it's very meaningful work, but oftentimes work that's not mentioned or talked about, right? You know, we hear about things that happen in the hospital, things that happen out in the community, but oftentimes we hear about that caregiving is one of the fastest growing occupations, um, almost as fast as nursing, because there's such a demand, there's such a need. Yeah, and if they want to advance, uh, LTU's got a nursing program, right, Matt? Matt I'm giving you a little plug there. So. Absolutely, yeah. And I'm pretty sure we have an articulation agreement with WCC as well. We do with most of the community colleges around here. Yes, um, yes, yes. I believe, I believe that you do. Okay. Well, once again, folks, that uh, website to sign up for this or just to look into it, it's wccnet.edu slash long-term care and there are little dashes between the long and the term and the care so that's wccnet.edu slash long dash term dash care and uh, they're going to start this right up so get on this now if you're at all interested additional four-year students love lawrence technological university's thriving campus life but ltu has always met non-traditional students needs too Lawrence Tech offers over 100 degree and certificate programs that can get adult students started or back on track. And most of our classes are conveniently offered evenings at our beautiful Southfield campus or online so you can balance your social, family, and work life even while you power up your career. Lawrence Tech, where blue devils dare.